Hello lovely people, welcome to Rouge Pat Beauty. Um, I've just filmed a haul video, went to put things away so I could finally use them and realised that I have quite a few empties again. So, it's going to be an empties video. Are you ready? Let us begin. Um, a great love, it's not featured for a long time and I need to get another one, now I'm back into it. It's Sugar Crush Body Scrub from Soap and Glory. Nearly forgot where it's from then. My favourite, I love Sugar Crush. Um, I had to stop using the shower gel because it actually made me itch, frustratingly. But this doesn't, um, so I'll have to get my fix from this. But such a great body scrub, a little bit more gentle than some of the really sort of harsh granular ones softer if you mix it with water if you really like hardcore exfoliating use it on dry skin before you get into the shower and rinse it away but so so good and it smells amazing next you've seen this um i swap over with nail polish removers um sometimes it's cutex and sometimes it's just one from tesco which works equally well lifts the color off doesn't smear next a huge favorite and you know i've used this shampoo for a lot of years yes i alternate and i'm always getting something different but there's always one in the shower just waiting waiting for me to come back to it Aussie Colour Mate. I started going for the 500ml size because it's silly not to. I love it. It's good on my hair. It gives it vibrancy. It remains colourful and shiny. Such a great shampoo. But my hair does get bored of it after so long, which is why I swap and change. But a massive favourite. Um, this month, February, has been February Sample Challenge. The lovely Lucy on Instagram asked if bloggers wanted to do it and a few of us said yes because we've got lots of samples and inevitably you save them for going away and of course I still don't take them when I'm going away I take my full size products because I'm weird like that and I thought great I'm going to start using them and I have I've gone through quite a few one is the Lancer the Method polish very popular a lot of you commented on this because Quite a few sort of famous celebrities rave about this. Um, it's good. It's very abrasive. I do find if you're too rough with it, your skin's obviously going to be quite red. So you need to be quite gentle, add a bit of water. I often use it with a facial wash just to soften it down. Um, it does smell a bit fishy. That's the only thing which sort of puts me off initially the aroma to me. Um, it's good, but it isn't something I would put my money and buy to be honest um next i'm sad about this because it has been a fantastic range to get to know um and it was a pr sample and i'm so glad i found them it's elizabeth grant from the ideal shopping channel and this was their hydrocell active range which i loved it's one of the first i got and it's the day and night face cream just beautiful it took me a long time to work through it rich cream but not too rich my skin loved it it's a great one to go from sort of summer into autumn winter just a beautiful product really really good i've loved everything i've had from elizabeth grant really good range another sample i like this it's very similar to la roche posay Cerazinc. it has that sort of antibacterial agent and it's january labs the restorative tonic mist it is alcohol free um it's got yeah the antiseptic aspect to it um i liked it it's refreshing it smells nice more maybe a chemically smell but not overpowering and i would think about maybe trying one of these when i've used my facial mist up i liked it another sample we did well didn't we cordially and this is their makeup removing cleansing oil um i've used this off and on for quite a few months and i loved it so much that i've got a full size waiting to use um very good a nice rich oil lifts all makeup smells great as you'd expect from quarterly just a really good product and obviously buying a big size tells you what i thought of the sample very good this i stuck with this for oh gosh i don't know i used it then i broke off used other things but i have i think since maybe the end of november december used it and used it until it's empty 
Um, it's Maison Placenta Ampule Cream. Um, the placenta is plant placenta. I wasn't sure about this at first. It's got a cold cream sort of texture, but totally loved it through the really, really horrible winter months. I miss it so, so much. It is one I would look at getting again, but I have a lot of moisturisers and it would be silly to buy another one now, but fantastic product. Even though it's quite a sort of cold cream consistency and it nourishes the skin, it's not over claggy on the skin. That's the important thing, um, but beautiful. I loved it. I used it obsessively every day obsessively this um i didn't like this is a pff, product it's the hero project and i usually like their products it's undo their biphase waterproof eye makeup eraser um, i didn't like it and generally i love biphase products i didn't feel it lifted my eye makeup off very well it left a film over my eyes um just not a great eye makeup remover i was really really disappointed with it um i used it more for taking lipstick off but no, didn't impress me in the least. Um, I don't really need to say anything, do I? It's Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. Where would we be if I didn't have one of those? Empty. My favourite still. Another sample, a little sachet, a sachet for you. It's Emma Hardy Amazing Face Moisture Boost Fit and C Cream. Love it. Smells, as you'd expect, vitamin C to smell of just beautiful very very rich um i think i probably used this for about a week there's that much in there loved it really really loved it i'm not rushing out to buy it because as i say i've got a lot of moisturizers to use but i was impressed i liked it um this i've used before um i vary what base coats i use for my nails this is just one from superdrug it's their three in one base coat ridge filler and growth enhancer a nice sort of plain i want to say apricot but it's not it's got a yellow tone nice consistency it does stop the nails from discoloring a lot but cheap cheap and cheerful and i like it i've got a different one i'm using currently but i've gone back to this quite a few times and superdrug their own products are always worth a look um yeah i like it and i would probably buy it again at some point a rimmel brow this way how many of these have i had who's counting love it it's again as good as the high-end ones out there a range of colors i think there's three shades but i like it very reliable and sadly dried out and the last one from the sample challenge was the Anne Semenin mask gel um didn't like this at all it smelled awful it was just pure chemical smell i didn't like the texture it didn't feel particularly nice on my skin. I have others from the range that have been beautiful and I've loved. This one, no, it just did nothing for me personally, not for me. But I love the brand and I loved all the others I've had, just not this particular one. And that's it. Lots of samples used, so that's good. It sort of inspires you when you've got other bloggers doing it as well and you can share photographs of what you're using, what you've used up. So yes, I'm very, very happy to have used a lot of samples. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back very soon with another video. Bye for now.